is have we died today? Have we died today? If we don't die to our flesh, we will do any and everything to get by. Do any and everything that's harmful to our bodies, spirit and soul. And the scripture comes from Romans 8, 13 and 14 is coming because I want you all to see what I'm reading. And it reads, Therefore, brethren, we have an obligation, but it is not our sinful nature. It is according to it. For it is for if we live according to our sinful nature, you will die. But if by the Spirit you put on death the misdeeds of the body, you will live. What that saying is, if we do not kill our flesh, that sinful part of us, we will surely die. When when God told Adam and, and Eve not to eat of fruit of good and evil, when they ate that fruit, they died spiritually. That connection between them and God was severed. Never since that's happened. We've had that sin problem in our lives. But if we stay connected to God, Spirit, we will be able to live, really live. The next scripture is Romans 18, 14, and 15. It's coming. Don't worry. I'm, I want to make sure. Because those who are led by the Spirit of God are the sons of God. For by for for if do not for if you do not receive the Spirit of the Spirit, that makes you a slave again to fear. And you receive the spirit of sonship by we call Abba Father. What that saying is, if we don't have God's spirit in us, become a slave to the world. We're, we're, we're bound by the chains of depression, of self, of self, of, of, of self-worth. God wants us free. You know, if we have been set free from sin and the chains that came off of us, we should not want to go back in jail. Should not want to go back in that prison of fear. Because fear stop because fear stops us. Fear fear is a is a deterrent to our victorious lives. If we were only be led by the Spirit of God in our lives, we would have victory after victory after victory. So, we want victory, we want failure. 
it was almost like an athlete training for an event. The athlete has to push past the pain. He has to starve his body of that, his her body of that bad food. Get enough, get enough rest, exercise every day. I said everything must die to live. To get to an egg, you have to crack the shell. And that crack out of that shell, that shell is damaged and broken. But you have to crack that shell to get to that egg, to scramble it, or, or however you want to cook it. A butterfly must break the cocoon to fly. That cocoon breaking, the cocoon dies. But the caterpillar, but the caterpillar turns to a butterfly, and the butterfly flies. So I would admonish us: let's die to our flesh daily. Let's let God control our lives, because God formed us from the dust of the earth and blew His breath of life into us. God made us. God knows us. And just know that everything will be all right if we're led by the Spirit. Because the Matthew, because the Matthew chapter 4, the, the Spirit of God led Jesus to be tempted in the wilderness. And he came out victorious. All because he used God's word to combat the efforts of Lucifer, the devil. So I say to you and me, let's die to our flesh daily. Let's kill it dead and bury it in the depths of our soul so God's attributes can come, or come from us. Love, peace, joy, wisdom, long suffering, faith. Mm. Let's have the Galatians five twenty two, the fruit of the spirits. We get that by dying to the flesh daily. We get that by relying on God's power and protection and provision in our lives. So I say to you and me, to you and me, let's die to the flesh daily. I know some of the things that we do in the flesh, it feels good. It feels so good, like we want to do it all the time. But it's harmful to our souls and spirit. And our flesh body is going to die. What's important is our soul. So our soul goes on, lives on. So let's die to the flesh daily. Let's kill it dead. Let's kill our flesh, the carnal side. Once we do that, we can truly be used by God. We can truly be be used by God and become God's vessel. Because the average person not gonna not gonna go to church, but they see us living a godly life. They just may come to God. They just may come to the winning side. We are God's children, and He's our Father. So we should act like God. 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 And again, let's die to the flesh daily. 
that's Dr. Fletch every day. And once we do that, we'll be able to live a godly life that shows God's attributes, that shows God's that shows God's power. And this is Marvin Sapp's perfect peace, perfect peace. Uh, not on the righteous music, not on, on the righteous music, on, 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 on the righteous music to, 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 to this music being played. And just remember, don't give up because God is there for us. And if we die to the flesh daily, we'll be able to make it through this life. We will be able to stand in the hard times. Don't give up on your dreams, hopes, and visions. Don't give up. And remember, die to the flesh daily. Kill that, 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 that natural man in you. Because that's the only way that we're going to live a God life. I want to live for God. How about you? Don't give up, don't give up, don't give up, don't give up, don't give up.